everybody, it's Wendy, and I'm here with Jesse James Beads today, and we are going to film a video using the Green Mamba Mix. So this is the Green Mamba Mini Mix, and I decided to figure out how many pairs of earrings I could make from this one mix, okay? So um, this is Green Mamba again, and I ended up making six pairs of earrings from this tiny little mini mix. Now, um, our encouraging word for today, let's go ahead and do that. Kind people are my kind of people. <laughs> I like that card a lot. Be kind. It just makes you a more likable person. Um, okay, so we've got six pairs of earrings. So I'm going to lay them out here. Here's number one. There's number one there. His little ball um, ear wire is trying to twist on me. Here is number two, a little wire wrapped guy. Number three is this dangly hoop. Number four is this leaf charm one. Number five, this is what I call a stick earring because <laughs> he's just a little stick. And number six is this one that's kind of got some illusion uh, monofilament in here that the beads are hanging from. So there they are. And we're going to make them. They are super quick and simple and they're only using this one mini mix, except for I have added in some bead caps and spacers. So if you buy Jesse James uh, mini mixes, strands, anything, you're going to have probably some of these spacers and bead caps. If not, you can use your own, okay? So um, they're just, they're in all of their mini mixes and everything though. So, so the, for the first pair, here's what you're going to need. You're going to need this little hexagon faceted bead from the Green Mama mix and this little um, mother of pearl shell bead. You're going to need the green, one of the little green flower tassels, a ball ear wire if you want. You can use any ear wire that you want. Um, you're going to need an eye pin, which I apparently neglected to pull out. So let me grab that. And then this is a little component that is basically an eye pin. Um, it's got a loop on either end, and it's just kind of a, um, just a little um, textured ring in the middle, or line in the middle wire. <laughs> you could use an eye pin. So if you have an eye pin, all you have to do is make a, you've got your loop at the bottom, make a loop at the top, and you have this exact same thing. You could even put seed beads on it if you wanted to, bead on it. But um, I'm just using this. I don't know where it came from. I I've had them in my stash for a while, but I just like the way it hangs down and has this little textured look. Now, if you had an eye pin, you could take um, a texturing hammer and you could texture it. Like if you have um, a ball peen hammer like this and a bench block, you could texture it a little bit. So, you know, use what you've got. But that's all it is, basically, is a little connector, straight connector eye pin kind of thing. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is take our little hex bead and put it on our eye pin and then put our mother of pearl bead on. And we're going to make a wrapped loop onto this little um, ball ear wire. So I'm going to take it here and I'm going to bend it 90 degrees. I am going to take my round nose pliers and grab in the bend and come up and over. And that's gonna make it look like a little question mark, okay? I'm going to go ahead and insert my ball ear wire on. Make sure it goes all the way up in the top. And then I'm going to insert my plier back in and hang on to it and bring it on around. I've just found that that's the easiest way to do it when you're attaching it to something. Then I'm gonna grab this loop with my chain nose pliers and I'm going to take my other chain nose pliers and I'm going to just wrap. And I just wrap around two or three times. So there's one. Go around a couple more times just to make sure it's secure. It's You don't have to wrap a whole lot if you don't want to or you can if you want to. And I'm just going to trim this right off and tuck it right in. Okay, so now let's wire wrapped right onto our ball head pin very secure, not going to come off. And now all we're going to do, this is so, so, so easy. You just take your little tassel and open up the little um, loop on it. I love that these tassels, you can just open this right up. Um, that's really nice. If I could get this to go back down on there, it's kind of trying to escape off of the 
little loop there. I'm just going to put it right on the end of my component. I am going to, I promise. <laughs> Good grief. Get off. Now, let me straighten this up. I opened it, which I sh just shouldn't have done, apparently. There we go. All right. Put it right on the end of your component if you're using an eye pin. Just put it right on the end there and close it up. Make sure it's closed real good. There we go. And then I'm just going to take it and I'm put it right on the end of this eye pin as well. And you're going to have a really cute pair of very dangly little flower tassel earrings. I think I love these. I think they're so, so cute. So there they are. And like I said, these can be eye pins. Just get on Jesse James website and get some eye pins, or if you have your own eye pins, which probably everybody does. Okay. Um, next up, we have this really pretty clear bead. And if you notice, these beads are flat on one side. So I am mirroring them. I'm putting the two rounded sides together. You need an ear wire. You need this fluted metal bead. And you need about, I don't know, nine inches or so of 24 gauge wire. Okay, so what I'm gonna do for this one is take the wire, put it through the bead and come down about the midway and take the bottom wire and go through again. Now you want to be super careful not to kink this wire, okay? You can pull it, pull it tight on here and you can even take your pliers and pull it. I'll show you, but try not to bend it, like to kink. If you bend it, it's going to, um, weaken it and it might break. So just pull it straight. I'm going to take the bottom again and go back up and around and back down through. Okay. And take my plier again and just pull tight. Okay. And if it crisscrosses, that's perfectly fine. Kind of gives it a cool look, but you pull it wires apart just a little. Okay, so now we've got our bottom and our top. You can see the top is longer than the bottom. And I'm gonna trim the bottom up just a little bit more. Um, I've got about, let's see how long this is. I've got about two inches on my bottom because we're gonna make a tiny spiral and I'm gonna take my, my round nose pliers and at the very tip, I'm just going to make a teeny tiny little loop. Just like that. And then I'm gonna take my chain nose pliers and I'm gonna swirl this. Now, if you have nylon jaw pliers, you can use them. I do have them, but I have a hard time working with them. I don't know why, they just, I just have a hard time with them. So, but I have found that if you're gentle with the chain nose pliers, it doesn't hurt this wire at all. And I am just swirling these right around, just like this. And I'm doing it patiently and carefully. And I'm just going to go all the way up almost to my bead. So just keep going. And now I'm about, I don't know, I'm just this far or so from the bead. And I'm just going to take this and just bend it straight up. And there is my little swirl on there. And sometimes I like to take my pliers and just kind of grab it and kink it around a little bit here at the bottom. Let me give it a little twist maybe, okay? Just like that. Now we're gonna put our bead on, our metal bead. Okay. And we're going to bend this 90 degrees gently. You don't want to bend this wire too much because it will break. Come up and over very gently. Rotate up. Come around with your wire. And then I'm going to grab my wire here and wrap. And I'm just going to wrap around several times. And then I'm going to take it and I'm going to wrap down this bead and around this part here where the two beads come together. Grab that back again. I'm gonna go around a couple of times 
and then I'm going to go back up the bead and finish wrapping right around the top here. Okay, and I'm just going to tuck that wire in, straighten my loop up a little, and then put my fish hook ear wire on. Just like this. And if you find that it's not hanging straight, which mine is, but you can take your fish hook ear wire and turn it and it will straighten it up. So you would just take it and kind of just give it a twist and it would straighten it up. But mine's doing okay there. So there we have our little wire wrapped earrings. And you can take this wire if you want and scoot it around to the front so it shows up just a little bit better. Okay, so just like this. There we go. Just like that. <laughs> All right, so earring number three is a dangly hoop. And what you're going to need for this is just a hoop earring finding that opens like this. Okay, um, you're going to need, actually, let me, um, okay, so I wanted to grab a different one of these and I'll show you why. So this one right here, if you can see, it opens, but it doesn't have a complete loop in the middle right there. See that? It's kind of open. This one is what I meant to have pulled out. It opens, but see how it has this complete loop in there? And that's what you want. So this is the wrong kind that I pulled out. So I had to grab a different one. Um, but that's what you're going to need. You need one of these that has that opens like this and has the complete loop here in the middle. Okay, and then you're going to be using two of these oval beads. We're going to use one of the transparent rondelles, two of these little stardust beads, a ball earring wire, two of the little mother of pearl nuggets, and then I'm using some leftover chain reaction. So I'm recycling some chain reaction. Um, this chain reaction, I will link in the description box below and you're not, you're going to need one, two, three, four, five pieces of it. And what I have done, if you can see, it is a link. So there's a loop at the top and a loop at the bottom. I have gone above each one and cut the loop. So this one, well, let's just say here, let, let me do this. Okay, say we've got this right here. You've got your two links, your middle crystal, your little jump ring, and then your top. Then you start into your next one. So I have trimmed the loop off the bottom. Okay, you don't need the loop on the bottom of this one, which leaves me with just my little crystal, its top loop, jump ring, and then we're starting into the next one. So on the next one, I have just trimmed the loop off the bottom. Okay. And then what I do is I take this, I don't cut the jump ring, but I cut that little loop that I trimmed off the bottom and it leaves me with this little dangle. So it has the jump ring, its top loop, and the crystal, okay? And then the same thing with this one. So I've already cut the bottom loop. That was the top loop of that one. I've already cut it. So now I'm gonna go up here and I'm going to cut the bottom loop of the one above. Okay, so just like that. And then instead of cutting the jump ring, I'm cutting the loop that attached that was on the connector. So that leaves me with the crystal, its top loop, and the jump ring. So I hope that makes sense. You're just, it minimizes, you don't waste any if you do it that way. Okay, so you're going to need one, two, three, four, five of those. And then you're going to need some little jump rings, and I've got some gunmetal um, two millimeter or three millimeter jump rings here. Okay, so this is so, oh, and you're going to need um, an eye pin and a head pin. <laughs> Guess that's pretty important. An eye pin and a head pin. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with my bottom uh, focal here, and I'm just going to create it with my head pin. So we're putting the barrel bead on our eye pin or our head pin. We're putting this, I guess it's an oval, not a barrel, oval bead, then the rondelle, okay? I'm 
create a wrapped loop and I don't have to worry with this wrapped loop about putting it on right now because this opens up. So I'm just going to make the wrapped loop right now. And just like we always do, go up over and around, grabbing this with my chain nose pliers and wrapping around just a couple of times. And obviously if you have a longer head pin, you could wrap more, but I'm using a not really long head pin. I'm just going to go ahead and tuck that in a little bit right here. There we go. Okay, so we have a little wrapped loop. Now, um, that's going to be our bottom component. So that's going to hang right here in the middle. So the top one, I'm using the eye pin. And I am going to go ahead, before I wrap on this one, I'm going to go ahead and attach my little piece. So I'm just hanging this guy on here with a jump ring, or with the jump ring that's already connected to it. Closing it up. And then I'm going to put this bead on, okay? And then I'm gonna create another wrapped loop. And same with this one, you, we're going to hook it on with a jump ring, so you don't have to worry. You can just go ahead and wrap. You don't have to worry about connecting it to anything before you close your wrap. Okay, so just come on around. Wrap a couple of times, and then you can trim it off, or you can keep wrapping. It's totally up to you. And tuck in the little snag, if there is one. Okay, so we have our two pieces. Now we're just going to bead on this. So you pull it open. We're going to hang one of our chain reaction pieces. We're going to put our little mother of pearl bead another chain reaction piece, our little round uh, stardust looking bead, our focal, another stardust bead. I don't put the chain reaction in between this. I just am doing the stardust bead, the focal, and the stardust bead. Now the chain reaction again. Our mother of pearl bead. And get on there. Sometimes these you have to kind of force them on, but they will go. And then a little bit of the chain reaction. Okay, so there. I bent that a little bit trying to get that bead on. So you put it right back in the loop, push it in. Okay, and then you're just going to take your pliers, chain or round uh, chain nose or crimpers, whatever, and just crimp this down in a couple of spots. Okay. And now we're going to take our teeny tiny jump ring. Open it up. And we're going to hang this wrapped loop right here, right on this little middle loop. That's why you needed that loop in there and not just the open piece. Okay, so just going to put it right in there. And close it right up. Make sure you get it closed good, because if you don't believe me, it will fall out. Okay. And then we're going to take our little ball head pin and using another jump ring. We're just going to attach it right on. And there you have a cute little pair of dangly hoops, just like that. <laughs> I really like these. I think these are super cute. So there they are. So that's pair number three. Number four is very easy. All you're going to need for this is the leaf charms from the kit, the green mamba kit, these really pretty boho beads, two of the transparent rondelles, two of the stardust beads, and then I'm using three bead caps. These are just the little five petal bead caps. They come in a lot of the Jesse James mixes. You can use any bead cap that you have, a ball ear wire, and an eye pin. 
Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to take our little uh, leaf and we're going to hang it right on the eye pin. Okay, just like this. Okay, then we're going to take our head pin and point it face, or goodness, our bead cap and point it facing up. We're going to put the stardust bead on, our boho bead. And then I'm going to do a bead cap facing away from the boho bead, my rondelle, and a bead cap on the top of the rondelle. And I did not make a wrapped loop on this one. So we're just going to bend this 90 degrees. Trim it right here. And roll back a loop. Right like this. Open this up. And you want to make sure that you put this on the correct way. Now, if it's not, it's not a huge deal. We can twist it, and I'll show you how. But let me go ahead and just get it on here. Okay. And just hold it like this. And however it's hanging, if you grab this top one, and just hold it straight and then take your bottom and you just want to twist the bottom only and you can twist that leaf right around to where it will hang facing the front okay so there is our pair number four of our earrings using the green mamba mix okay so number five these are very simple as well i call these stick earrings because <laughs> they're just a straight line but we're using a lot of these spacer beads. So they've been putting these metal spacer beads. They're kind of twisty and I really like them. They're super cute for layering on something like this. So we're using, and they've got these bigger ones too in their mini mixes and their bead strands. So we're using a couple of those. We're going to be using, let's see, uh, and then a bead cap. This is a gunmetal bead cap from a Jesse James bead strand. We're going to be using the other fluted bead, another spacer, these um, cube kind of stretched out rectangle beads, two of these, two more of these guys, and a bead cap. There it is. Same five petal bead cap we used on the last ones there. Um, then the shell bead, another one of these. These are two little tiny, tiny daisy spacers from Jesse James Bead Strand. Another one of these, this guy, this guy, and our ball ear wire. That one might be extra, and a head pin. Okay, so that's what I've got. Now, if you don't have these, um, if you don't, I mean, like I said, they're in the Jesse James mini mixes and bead strands, but if you don't have any of them, you can use any. You could use daisy spacers, um, just anything really that you've, that you've got, any kind of spacer. So and what we're going to do is take our eye pin or our head pin, I'm putting one of these on facing down. As you can see, they're kind of curved, so I'm making sure that the curve faces down. Then I'm putting this guy on with the curved part facing up, okay? So they're gonna kind of texture. Then I'm gonna put this flower bead cap on, then the fluted bead, my rectangle bead, nope, I'm sorry, one of these guys facing up, the rectangle bead, one of these facing down and then one facing up just like that see how they texture together um, and then my bead cap my mother of pearl bead this guy here um, facing down my two daisy spacers and then this one facing up my next rectangle bead and my next little wavy spacer. And then I'm going to just make a regular loop. I don't think I did a wrapped, no I didn't. So a regular loop on this one. Bend it 90 degrees, trim it up a bit, and make a loop. Okay, and we're gonna insert this right onto our ball wire so 
we'll just take it. Doesn't matter which way you hang it because this doesn't really have a front or a back. And just stick it right on there and close this guy right up. Okay, and just make sure your loop is closed really well. And there you have a little pair of stick earrings. Super quick, super simple, but they're interesting. They have a lot of texture and I think they're really cool. So there they are. And for our last one, we're doing something a little different. So I've got some Beadalon Supple Max. This is 0 .006, and you can't see it, but it's here. <laughs> here it is. It's illusion cord. And um, I have two pieces here cut at about two inches. I don't know if you can see them at all, but they're there. Okay, I'm going to put them in this little tray so I don't lose them. So you're going to need those. This is the earring that we're making, and it's kind of got an illusion a uh, little floating hanging stuff down here. You're going to need, I'm using again, a ball post ear wire. I'm using one of these filigree bead caps from the Jesse James mixes. I'm using this hex bead, this really cool um, English cut bead, and three of the rectangle beads. And then also in the Mamba mix, we're one, two, three, four, of these little rondelles, clear rondelles, AB rondelles. So this is what you need for one earring, okay? Um, there it is. Then you're going to be using one of the five petal bead caps again, sorry. And then some crimp beads. Um, I think we're going to need one, two, three, four, five, six of them, okay? So all these beads and six crimp beads. And this is super easy as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our illusion cord first. Here it is. And I'm going to insert, first of all, I'm gonna close up this, make sure that this loop is closed really good on my eye pen, okay? And then I'm gonna take the illusion cord and I'm going to put a crimp bead on it, let it fall down a ways, and then I'm gonna insert the illusion cord through my eye pen. And then I'm gonna come back up and around and go through the crimp bead. So what I'm doing is I'm making a loop with the illusion cord onto the eye pin. And I'm just gonna pull this up, pull that up a little to make sure that it's not sticking down too far. And I know you can't see the cord, but it's on there. I'm gonna scoot the crimp bead down just a little and just flatten it. And it's just going to attach it to the eye pin. And I'm going to do that again with my other piece. Same exact thing. Put my crimp bead on. Okay. Insert it right through this hole. And I know that you could make your loop first and then put it, whoops, then put it on the eye pin. But I've actually found that it's easier to do it this way. I don't know why. But it is, except for when you keep dropping your crimp bead on there. Okay, go over both of the ends of it there. And then again, I'm just moving up toward the top. Um, just down just enough to let it dangle so it's not going to be bound up against that eye pin. Coming down just a little bit and closing it, crimping it. Okay, so there we have them. Two little crimp beads hanging on our illusion cord. <laughs> All right, um, I'm going to go ahead and bead the top. So I'm taking this um, filigree bead cap and I'm putting my hex bead on. And what I like to do is take these and mold them around this hex bead. You can use your pliers if you want to, to kind of just, I just flatten it, the little edges of it, all the way around the hex bead. And it just gives it a really pretty little... I don't know, just decorative element there. Then I'm taking my bead cap and I'm putting it on facing away from the bead I just put on. Then I'm putting on my English cut bead. Okay, so there they are. Now, did I do a wrapped loop? I did not. So I'm just doing a regular loop. I never can remember. Bending it there. Trimming this. Rolling my loop back. 
Okay, just like this. And I'm just going to go ahead and insert my ball ear wire on before I close my loop up all the way. And then just close my loop. He's wanting to twist around there a little bit. Okay, just close your loop up. Why this one's being so difficult? There we go. <laughs> because I'm on camera. I'm go ahead and do it with the round nose pliers. There we go. It's going to be difficult. Okay, so now we have our two little pieces of cord hanging down here on our eye pin. And I am not going to try to do these exactly the same. You could if you wanted to, but I kind of like the look of them being a little bit different. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of the little clear AB rondelles and put it all the way up close to the top. I'm going to put one of my longer rectangle beads on and probably just go ahead and crimp that. So I'm taking the crimp bead, putting it on under the two beads that I've just put on there, and then I'm going to just crimp it. And that's going to let them just kind of hang, but you can't really see the illusion cord, so it's kind of cool. It looks like they're um, floating. I'm going to put on this guy. And I am trying to kind of do it the same. I'm not going to worry too much, but... And then this one underneath okay and then another crimp and this one I'm gonna let dangle down a little bit more so I'm gonna move the crimp bead down the cord to about right here right there see and it looks like it just kind of is like a little illusion like they're hanging there and you can't really see it it's kind of cool all right so on this next one I'm going to do the AB rondelle. This rectangle bead. And the other AB rondelle. No, I didn't do that on there. I'm not, I mean, I'm trying to kind of do it the same. I guess you should. I don't know. <laughs> I kind of like the variety. But now this one, I do want to make sure when I put it on here. So I'm going to hold this up. I want it to hang kind of in the middle of those, so I don't want it to be, so when I hold this up, and, oh no, that one came off, I didn't have my thing closed, I'll have to fix that. Um, so I'm going to crimp it right about here, and then we'll put that back on. So that's going to hang it kind of in the middle of these two, <laughs> that just totally, that's what I mean by you gotta have, believe me, if it can find a way out, <laughs> it will do it, it's just amazing to me how it will find that one little crack and come right out and then it's like impossible to get it back on it's super easy to for it to come out but then it's really hard to get it back on there it would help if I had the loop part there we go I'm just gonna try to get this back on there yeah there we go and close it back up I thought I had it closed good the first time but obviously I did not Let's close that back up. Just trying to make sure I get it closed really good. There we go. That should be good. I thought it was good the first time, but okay. All right, so as you can see, that one hangs kind of in the middle of this one. So now I'm just going to take this last little AB rondelle. Put him on here, put a crimp bead on, and I'm just going to come down a little from the other one and crimp it, and then I'm just going to trim. I don't really want any of the illusion cords sticking out the bottom, so I'm just going to trim the bottoms on both of them if there's any sticking out. There is a little bit right there, and a little bit right there. Okay. So there they are, two little pair of illusion cord earrings. Super cute, I love these. And if there's some sticking out the top here where you 
made your loop and crimped, you can trim that too. Just be really careful that you cut the right one because I've done that before. I've cut the wrong one and then it's very annoying. So let me do that really quick. Just trim that off. Okay, so there they are. So out of one tiny Jesse James mini mix, the Mamba mini mix, Mamba, green Mamba, I got six pair of earrings. Pretty elaborate. I mean, these are kind of elaborate. These are a little bit. The rest are very simple. Um, but look at what you can get out of one little mini mix from Jesse James Beads. That's pretty impressive, I think. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, links for everything will be in the description box below the video. And um, yeah, so please subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And ring the bell if you want to know when I upload new items because I'm doing tutorials all the time and you won't know if you don't ring the bell that, um, that I've uploaded. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day and I will see you in the next video. Bye.